Hello, everybody, and welcome. Welcome to today's session. Uh, this is uh, Nelly Deutsch. I'm going to be uh, presenting on our weekly wikis for collaboration, which is a theme for the month of May. So if you could just add in the chat box where you're from and anything else you'd like to add. I'm sure people will be coming in as we go, but uh, this is being recorded. Mm -hmm. It's going to be available on WizIQ with the same link that you joined. And it's also going to be available without the attendee list and only with the PowerPoint presentation and without the chat box, of course, on YouTube and Vimeo. So uh, we're going to get started as soon as... Um, you write down where you're from and anything else you'd like to add. Feel free to uh, use the chat box. The chat box is a great way for you to start learning because it provides you with an opportunity to uh, discuss with yourself or with anybody else who's going to respond to you. So we've got Argentina. Welcome. All right, so... Uh, Constantino, if you could add where you're from. Italy, bravo, <laughs> wonderful. Good to have you from Italy. All right, as I said, this is being recorded, so uh, you'll have a chance to view it. I'm going to take away my um, webcam and bring it back every once in a while. All right, so today is really a hands-on session. We're going to focus on one of the wikis that we mentioned, and the wiki is Wiki Spaces. Next week, we'll be um, talking about PB Works, and in the final class, we'll have a look at Wiki Educator. And then in the month of June, we'll be focusing on Google Sites and Google Drive for collaboration. All right. So let's get started. So Wiki Spaces is not only a project, it's a place where you can collaborate with your students, with your family, with your colleagues. You can write a book, and I have been involved in a collaborative book through Wiki Spaces. You can also conduct research. In other words, Wikispaces is a place where you can actually think that involves other people. Yes, I realize that, uh, I know that in Italy there are many parts that have problems with the internet. And I know that when it rains, forget about the internet. All right, so Wiki Spaces. This is what it looks like. Number one, you sign in or you, uh, I'm going to get rid of my webcam. Sign in or you sign up, whatever it happens to be, by creating a new Wiki Spaces account. How many of you have? A wiki spaces account by the way you should be using a desktop which takes less uh, bandwidth okay so I'm writing that it's wiziq.com dash desktop okay so you can download that for free so do you have a wiki spaces account if not you're going to get one well, you'll have to because you're going to join a wiki that I created. Oh, great. Wonderful. I'm glad you have an account. Oh, my voice is going up and down. Well, it should be. That means that there's sound. All right. So this is how you create a wiki. You go to wiki spaces, which is wikispaces.com and I'm going to add the wiki that I created that we're going to be collaborating on. Okay, so um, 
If you're having problems with your connection, I'm going to give you, let's see if that works out, wiki spaces. Uh, Constantino, I'm going to give you the PowerPoint presentation so you can follow that if you should get stuck at any time. Okay, so there's the PowerPoint. And I've added the wiki. So if you can also go to the wiki at some point, that would be great. All right, so how do we create a wiki on wiki spaces? First of all, on the dashboard, once you have your account, you go to your account and you'll see Wik new wiki. You click on that and that will take you to make a new wiki. And then they want to know what industry you're in. So this is a menu that you will open up and decide Okay, in my case, it's um, education. And once you do that, they give you this form. Okay, you have to write the name of the wiki without any spaces, where you are, your school or organization. Okay, and then you click on Create. So they want you to do a few things. Now, it's completely free. completely free. All right, so keep that in mind. You do not have to pay anything. All right, so once you um, begin, you will see this page. Okay, this is my image. Okay, and then you'll see these icons from left to right. Okay, that's a page. This is a link. This is chat. This is the organization. And this is a calendar. Now, you don't have to worry about any of these. You go to the right. That's where you're going to start your pages. A wiki page. And this is a page to invite people. If you want to, you can also give them the link and then they can join. All right, once you um, go to your pages, you may want to set the settings. But you don't have to do anything. So you go to the pages, you click on the page on the right, and then you start a new page. Actually, this may look like a blog. A blog and a wiki are both websites. A blog is for one person. No one can edit your page. While a wiki, anyone that you allow can edit your wiki page. Now, I made it public, and I'm going to screen share. I hope this doesn't take too much of your bandwidth. Everything's going to freeze for a minute, and then I'll give you a chance to see. What I mean. Okay. Now I'm going to screen share, and while I screen share, <coughs> I screen share, everything is, may go to the bottom left, okay, so don't worry. All right, so let me take you to the wiki that I created. And this is what I mean. If you take a look at the right, you will see the pages. And this is where you can add anything. Now I have given you rights to this wiki pages. Here is the link. 
so that you can come and do exactly practice on this wiki and do anything you wish. All right, so let's start with page. You're going to click on a page and then give it a name. <coughs> Excuse me. And where do you do that? Okay, new page. Give it a name. And you can call it anything you like. Uh, let's start with, let's call it practice. Practice area. All right, then here is the link to the page. Tags you can add if you like. I can, I'll put wiki, and then I'll click on create, and wait. All right, and then I get an editor. Okay, this is the top, is called an editor. Notice I can write, hello. I can also change the style, make bold. Okay, and I can also add a link. I can hyperlink words by going into link. Okay, I can add files, upload files from my computer. I can add a table, okay, and decide how many columns and so on. I can add a comment, hi, okay, instead of hello, and you'll have a chance to come here in a minute. I can also preview what I've done, but I'm not going to do that, or go to a widget. Now, widgets are really great. I can add a table of contents, and you can practice this on my wiki. I can add videos. In this case, I would embed the video, YouTube, and other videos by just adding the embed codes and so on. Okay, so I'm going to let you play around with this um, in a minute. Okay, so let me go back to class. Okay, here I am, and stop screen sharing. Okay, and I hope that wasn't uh, too difficult on your system because sometimes screen sharing takes a lot of bandwidth. All right, so back. All right, so here is the link that I want you to go to. Okay, here's the link right now. Okay, go to that link. I made it public so you can go. And you're going to do exactly that. You're going to create a new page and play around with it. Now you're going to play around just a little bit during the class, but you'll have a lot more time to play later on or to practice. All right. So um, there's the link. Click on it and it should take you to another area. Now, Constantino, Tino, I'd like to help you. So let me give you a link that you can join for this class that'll make it easier because then it'll open in your browser. Okay, so let me do that now. Let me give you a link. Okay, there it is in the chat box. This, so that you can go to that link and use it instead of um, this WizIQ class. Okay. Hello, Abilio. Abilio, um, and then you can use WizIQ from your desktop. Abilio, I'd like you to click. Oh, Abilio's using very good the desktop. There, I'd like you to click on the wiki spaces. I made it public. So that anyone with the link can go in and practice. And what I'd like you to do is start a new page. Go to the right 
and start a new page. Okay, so if you don't have a Wikispaces account, it'll ask you to create a, an account. It should take a couple of uh, seconds. It shouldn't take long, and then you can get started. Okay, let me know in the chat box once you're in, and then we'll continue. Okay, Stella, were you able to uh, create an account? I think you have an account, if I'm not mistaken. And um, Constantino? Yes, I remember that. All right, so Constantino, you may have to create an account. Great. So you can just join me, Stella. You don't need to do very much. I don't need to approve you because it's public. I made it public so uh, we can practice. Okay, Guadalupe, um, glad you made it. Uh, there's a link. I'd like you to click on it and join. It's public, as I said. And what I want you to do is I want you to practice. Just now, just create a new page. Today we're focusing on wiki spaces, or not just today, we're going to be focusing on this for the whole week, and the next class is going to be PB Works. And Guadalupe, I see you're not using um, the desktop, so let me share a link so that you can be a link for your browser so that WizIQ, you can use WizIQ directly from your browser. It makes it a lot easier. Okay, so let me share this link with you. Okay, here's the link. I'm putting it in the chat box. If you click on that, it'll take you out of this class into another, but the class will be in your browser. Because right now, if you're not using a desktop, it means that WizIQ is somewhere else. And it takes a lot of bandwidth. This is HTML5. I don't know if you're familiar with it. But it makes it a lot better. And it takes less bandwidth. And then you can come back. Okay, so again, this is the wiki spaces. I keep adding it. And just let me know in the chat box if you have an account now on wiki spaces so we can continue. Okay, just give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Do you have an account on wiki spaces? There's a thumbs up. If you don't have an account, if you go into the smiley, you'll be able to get a thumbs down. And I love those um, emicons. What kind of problems do you have? Or you have some problem. All right, so we can continue, and then um, we'll see what's going on. Okay, so next. Next, when you get a new page, you give it a name. And you add a tag. Next. I called my page About. Now the page is going to be a menu, a set of pages, 
the way you have on a website. Every page is actually a web page. So you're actually creating a website with wiki spaces, which is really exciting. And then notice what you have here in the editor. And I showed you this before in the screenshot. You've got, you can hyperlink words with a link. You can upload files from your computer. There's the widget and table. So let's take a look at what this looks like. When I look at the widget, this is a text that I added. It's called Quality of Mind. And we're going to be working on this together. Many of my students have asked me how to focus on their studies and stop getting distracted. The course will focus on how to improve the quality of our minds by learning to focus on the present. It takes practice, but we can learn to avoid getting stuck in the past or dream about the future. All right, so that's what it's about. It's quality of mind. We're going to be adding lots of information there. We're going to build a course together. And the name of the course is Quality of Mind. Now, I don't know if you know anything about quality of mind. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Do you know much about quality of mind? I'm sure you have a little bit of experience. We all do since um, we know what's good for our minds and what is not good for our minds. A okay, quality of mind. Very important to uh, having a good life, being happy, or at least uh, doing things that we should be doing. Okay, now once I um, add whatever I add, I need to save it. However, I can preview and see what it looks like before I save. So let's continue. Number one, this is what you see when you click on the widget. If you want this PowerPoint presentation, it's available. Okay, let me get the link for you. Here is the PowerPoint presentation, so you can click and see exactly what's there. Okay, so I'm sharing the power, the link to the PowerPoint presentation that you see in the center. Okay, right here. All right, so uh, this is the widget. Okay, it's called the widget, just a name that technologists give. Number one, number one, you can get a video something connected to education, calendar, spreadsheet, document, polls, and you can get an RSS feed. If you don't know what any of these are, you can try them out to find out. You can also organize your website, wiki, by creating a table of contents of the pages. All the pages that you create will become a table of contents so that your wiki website is organized. Again, a wiki is a website where many people can work together and edit everything on the website. You can also add references, RSS feed, contents of a page, list of pages, list of wikis, and discussion area, which is really great. Number three, you can get page history. If I go into the wiki and I make changes and you see the changes, but you want to know who made the changes, you can click on page history and see all the people and the changes they made. If you don't like a change, you can go back and back in time. So it's really exciting to be able to go back and um, use whatever you had in the past. There are also list of links and so on. Next, let's go to the video. Students love videos, and who doesn't? Do you like watching videos? I know I do. So, videos. Anybody not like watching videos? Not long ones. You know, today on YouTube, you can get full movies, 
whole movies, which is really exciting. And you don't have to pay anything. You can watch them at home or anywhere else. So you can add YouTube videos. Teach your tube. If you click on it, you'll see more about it. Yahoo video, Blip TV video. If you're not familiar with these, you'll become... There's Viddler and other videos. And the way they want you to add them is by embedding a code. Excellent! I'm glad to hear that, Guadalupe, because I think, Guadalupe, you're going to have wiki spaces. I just know it. Because wiki spaces, as I said, I think you weren't here at the beginning, allows, well, I've, I've written books with people, collaborated on books, you can conduct research, you can have classes, you can have courses. It's a website that's completely free and easy to use. And you can collaborate, which makes it even better. So you get the embed code. Anybody not know what an embed code is? Well, if you go into YouTube, you'll be able to get, or into Vimeo or other places, you'll be able to get an embed code, which is HTML. All right, so let's take a look at what it looks like. I wanted to give you an example. Let's see if I... Uh, okay, so what I did was I, um, I went into YouTube, my account, and under share... If you go into any YouTube video, and um, let me take you to a YouTube video now. Okay, let's go to a YouTube video. Okay, let's see. By the way, it's not a good idea to have YouTube video sitting and waiting on your system because it drains the system, so I wouldn't. So if you want your computer to work fast, don't go into, don't have video sites open. Okay, but I'm going to open this one up. And then I'm going to go into this one. Okay, let me open this one up. And then you notice what I have. Oh, uh, Oops. this is Nelly. Sorry, that's me. About share. I'm going to go into share. Click on share. And then I'm given, I can share this link in all these places, but I'm going to go into embed. Under share, there's embed. And then I click copy and paste. It. Hello, uh, this and is that's Nelly. exactly what you need to do on the wiki. Okay, that's exactly that. So let me stop screen sharing. Okay, I hope that. And then I embed from the YouTube and added to my wiki spaces widget video and here it is i can also customize and make it smaller okay this is where it is on youtube so let's go to wiki spaces under video if i click on video okay this is notice and it's 560 width which is kind of wide you can make it wider or you can make it less wide. And notice here is the height. You can play around with this. Don't be afraid. Try things out. Nothing's going to break because it's online. Nothing breaks online. The only thing that can break is your computer screen or your tablet. But nothing online can break, which is really exciting. All right, so this is what it will look like, the widget, the video that I added from YouTube. Now, notice I have to save it. It'll look like this until I save it. So let's see what happens. I can preview it before I save it to see if I like it. Okay, so I preview. I take a look at it. There is the video. And then I can continue editing the page or I can save. And I chose to save. Okay, again. I save it and here it is okay this is a page with the video on the wiki 
All right, so again, what you're going to do is you're going to create pages. Now I'm going to show you from the right how to edit the navigation. So let's try that now. Okay, I'm going to go over here. Okay, cl click on this. And then notice I have the same editor with the same features. And then I'm going to insert navigation widget. And these are the widgets that I can add to the navigation. Now guess what I added to my navigation? What did I add? I could have added anything. Text. I mean, look at all the things I could have added. I could have added spreadsheet, document, polls, slideshow, map, poster, all kinds of things. But what did I choose to edit? Okay, what did I choose to edit? If you can recognize this, please write it in the chat box. That's right, Stella, because I love videos. <laughs> so I chose, but notice that it's quite large. So I had to make it smaller. Instead of 560, notice I made it 260. But even 260 is kind of large for the navigation bar. So uh, 220 maybe would be better. And this is the navigation bar. Notice I did make it smaller. I made it 220. You can play around with it by clicking on edit. Edit. Okay, notice everything has an edit. What's great about online is it really changes your philosophy of life. Because in life, we spend, you know, we, we try to save because we spend, most of us spend too much money we eat more than we need to. We, we, we try to, but online, you can be as open and you can be spending a lot, a lot of things. There's no wastage online. So you can add lots of videos. You can play around. Okay, there's no such thing as too much. Okay, so whatever you add, don't be cheap. Try things out because nothing can go wrong. Are there any questions up to, up to now? Because I want you to go and practice, okay? So um, again, let me get the uh, wiki spaces. Okay, we're going to be, as I said, we're going to be working together. But you don't have to worry about what you add. You can always delete. But practice and add everything in the widget. Just try everything. You don't have to worry about wasting. No wastage. Okay, so there it is. All right, notice what I did. I made my wiki public. You might not want to do this because making it public means that everyone, including anonymous visitors, can view and edit pages. And you don't want strangers. You want it to be protected in some way. Protected means that everyone can view the pages, but only members of this wiki can edit the pages, which is a lot better. But because I want you to practice, I made it public. I'm going to change the public and make it protected so that um, we don't have to delete what we don't want. Private means that only members of this wiki can view and edit pages. That's even more so. So for organizations, if you're giving private classes, or for your family, because you can have a wiki spaces or again, wiki spaces is like a website for the whole family. Okay, so you can have family photos, so maybe you want it private. Um, you can decide if you want to allow discussions posts for non members or not. And you can let non members request membership in this wiki, which is what I should have done. 
but I didn't. Okay, I wanted it to be, I didn't want you to waste time. And then, of course, you click on the update. Notice this is the settings. All right, so let's collaborate on the quality of mind. So are you ready? There's the link. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to screen share so we can see what you're doing. So um, how many of you check this one? Quality of mind. Stella from Argentina. Okay, so let's see what uh, you have done. Okay, so I'm going to uh, screen share. And let's take a look at our surprise. All right, so everybody ready? We're going to go on a little tour. I'm going to screen share. And we're going to go into Wikispaces. By the way, I've used, as I said, Wikispaces, I think, since 2005 uh, with my students, uh, high school and then uh, college. And they love it because it's uh, really an exciting Let's see where uh, Stella, let me try to um, see where that takes me. Okay, here we are. All right. Hi from, oh my gosh, did you do all this? Lovely. Wow. Look at that. You did all this now? You added your blog. Excellent. That's wonderful. You, you created a page. Hi from Argentina. That certainly is. Uh, wonderful. And we can add to the discussion notice. Um, so this is my country. This is lovely. Thank you, Stella. God bless you uh, for being so creative and so open to sharing. All right. So this is your wiki. Lovely. Oh, I love it. Okay. Say hello to the world. It's beautiful. And notice here on the left is the navigation bar. Okay. And you can add different things to it. Very nice. And you've got teachers pages from Argentina, Egypt, and so on. Lovely. All right. So let's go back. And you've added this information to the quality of mind. Wonderful. All right. So we've got Stella's uh, blog and we've got a dictionary and this takes us here beautiful absolutely beautiful and we've got a video here uh, with your town wow so you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the link thank you so much take the link and um, let's, um, let's add it to the class, okay? Um, let me take my video away. Let's add it to the class so we can all see it together. That's absolutely beautiful. Very innovative and very daring. You know, it's, it's, it's good. It's good to, um, to try things out, not to be afraid because there's nothing to be afraid of. All right, you can't break, as I always say. Here we are.
That's absolutely lovely. Thank you. That was wonderful. Okay, so we'll be I'll be talking about multitasking on uh, in, a, in two days on May 26 as I talk about understanding how wiki uh, how um, was IQ works so we'll have a chance for that all right let's um, let's go back and see what someone else has done let's continue with our screen sharing okay so uh, I can add something I'd like everybody to add okay so thank you thank you for sharing they didn't have this uh, when I started the wikis this comment boxes Stella there we go and then I can post well I need a subject oh that's the body boy am I confused okay so this is that's the body this is the body and here is the subject okay all right subject is um, feedback Okay, let's try posting that. Okay, there we go. Feedback. More than a thank you. Okay, Stella, can you write something in the chat box here? Um, and everyone, the idea is to go to pages like Stella did. And we can edit her page. Notice everyone can edit everyone's page. But right now, try to go to pages there and into new page okay new page right here click on it give it a name and click on create oh, I didn't do anything okay so I'll give it a name uh, what should I call it I'll call it feedback all right call it feedback create and then once I do that, I get the editor. Okay, here's the famous editor where I can, this is the page, okay? And I can add a widget, try out the widget, the video like we did before, and so on. Table, okay, you might wanna try the table. Okay, there we are. Tables are pretty tricky. And then I can preview what I did. And then if I want to, I can save and continue or I can save and comment need help need help with the table okay with the table anybody help me with the table okay comment I'll make it grammatically correct All right. I need help with the table and then save okay so I didn't do very much but I am trying to save this. There we go. So it's called feedback and there is nothing here. Okay. So let me see what you're doing. Here it says no changes were made. All right, so let's go back to the pages and see what I have so far here. Oh, Portugal. Nice. Oh, very nice just now. That's wonderful. All right, so we've got Portugal, a page on Portugal. Oh, but you added, okay, I see you added. Um, okay, let me help you here. Okay, you added, anybody can help you actually. Uh, okay, so I'm going to copy, going to edit and help you with this. You have to go into widget first. Go to video and then you can add embed the code. So you got the code which is great. Here YouTube and then you need to add it here. Okay but I don't want to do this for you so I'm gonna let you do it. All right so you go into widget choose youtube and then add that okay and then you click on save otherwise it's in the wrong place okay it has to be you put it in the table it has to be through the widget or it doesn't work 
All right. So listen, that's how we learn. We learn when we try things out. It doesn't work. And then we're learning. Okay, so let's um, let's go back to, let me cancel this. And I'm going to go into pages to see if anybody else has added anything. Okay, so we've got about feedback, Argentina, Portugal. And I'm waiting for other people to add here. Okay, so you add new page. Again, pages on the right. You get to this and you add. And once you do that, if you want to embed, you go into edit, always edit, into widget, video, YouTube, add. Okay, I'm doing this somewhere else. And then there it is. And then I save. You won't see it until you save it. Okay, but first you add it to the widget. And there it is. And I wonder what you add. Oh my gosh. Portugal. Is that ever beautiful? All right, let me get the link so we can play that in the class too. This is a lot of fun. Actually, working together is a lot of fun. Working alone is not fun at all. Well, it could be fun, but it's a lot more fun, I think, to work with other people. All right, so uh, thank you. Was that you, Abilio? Did you add the Portugal page? Who added the Portugal page? You did. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so proud. Wonderful. All right. So, um, okay. Let's um, let's play this other. Let's add this other video. Are you? But you're not from Portugal. Are you? I thought. Are you from Portugal? Okay. So let's play um, this one. I think it's this one. Yes. Here it is. I'll mute my mic.
very, very professional. Very, very no sound because it stopped. Um, also, Abilio, are you from... I don't know what language oh, you are. Uh, welcome to Portugal. It was beautiful. Wow. Yeah, sometimes it depends on your connection. Um, Guadalupe, but that was so that was the, an amazing video. Thank you so much for sharing. I'm sorry you didn't get sound, but you'll get the recording if you had some problems. All right, so Wiki Spaces. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing you create pages like uh, Stella did. And Stella, you're invited to edit other people's pages and help out because I think helping is a great way to um, to learn and sustain learning, not to forget. When you help somebody, you don't forget. And also when you make mistakes, you know, the more mistakes you make, you should be very, very happy because that way you'll never forget um, when you get the right answer. Oh, I'm glad it's working. No, because I had my uh, audio off when the video uh, was on. So thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining the session. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing your wiki spaces. And you're invited to uh, continue with the pages. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask the questions there. As I said, on May 26th, we're going to have how to use WizIQ. It's going to be a weekly uh, session. And um, the first class, I don't know if you've joined or not, but the first class is... Um, is called Understanding the WizIQ Teaching System. And as I said, we'll have these every week on different days and different times to cater to everybody's needs. And it's also going to be part, so if you click on that, you can join. It's also going to be part of the blend the blend, the learn to blend and flip your with technology. So let me get the link for you if you haven't joined. I know that Stella has and Guadalupe has, but I'm not sure about the others. So here's the link to uh, learn to blend and flip with technology. Maybe you'll be number 860. There are 859 people uh, in this free online course. It's ongoing. And Stella, we're going to be talking about multitasking. And I think you're going to enjoy it, especially for an English language teacher, because I think it's really, really important. We're going to talk about multitasking and how it relates to focusing. Okay, so that'll be part of the session, too. And I think you're going to have a lot of fun with it. All right, so see you on, when is the 26th? Is it Monday? I think the 26th is, must be Monday, May 26th at 11 a.m. EST. And you're invited to ask questions. If you have any questions, you can start asking questions directly from the WizIQ live class page. And I'm looking forward to seeing you there. You can invite your friends to come to and learn with you. So thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining. And bye. The recordings will appear very, very soon. Billy, I'm not sure whether you have joined the course, so please join the uh, Learn to Blend and Flip with Technology. Bye-bye.